speaker is a professor, uh, uh, Sean, come from the NTU, that's a star. That's a welcome kind of speaker. Okay, yeah. Thanks for the uh, invitation. Uh, this talk actually, uh, I think on the, uh, on the agenda, which I did not give you the uh, talk title, so it was just made up. I shall come, I think, at that time. Anyway, yeah, I will talk about the uh, reactor neutrino physics from Dabe and uh, Juno. Uh, Dabe is an ongoing experiment, and Juno is a new experiment. Um, the uh, reactor anti neutrino physics uh, uh, actually has very long history, all the way back to the you know, first observation on neutrinos in 1956. And then, actually, you can see there's a series of and experiments since then. Um, until they also there are several Nobel Prize okay awarded. Um, anyway, the uh, by two thousand, you know, basically two thousand two, uh, 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 we discovered basically the uh, so called the uh, reactor uh, anti neutrino oscillations, and uh, together with the other experiment too. Okay, so so the so the uh, beyond the two thousand six. Uh, basically, we actually uh, uh, start so-called the uh, precision measurement of the, uh, the third mixing angle. Uh, the third mixing angle was not measured, you know, uh, before actually 2011, and uh, the experiment was uh, proposed, I think, uh, for that based around 2006. And uh, once you can you know, get this angle, then all three mixing angles uh, basically measured, then we can explore the uh, CD violation and and the other you know, the features. So the direct neutrino uh, basically uh, uh, to do such experiment, uh, you can see you know the the, the neutrino oscillation actually will mix the uh, so-called the, uh, the, uh, the the flavor eigenstate will be the mixture of the, the so-called mass eigenstate. So in, in here there's a, a unitary uh, unitary uh, uh, matrix here and uh, with a three mix angle and also one CP fix. So generally a very, uh, a, a very good approximation you can see the, uh, the anti neutrinos you know, once propagate uh, through some distance and stay with the anti neutrino which you know, uh, doesn't disappear then uh, it's proportional to one minus uh, this quantity which is proportional to the, uh, the amplitude so sun squared to theta one three, that's the mix angle, and uh, the measurements depend on the uh, sine square delta, you know, m square, and times l over four e. Okay, so l over e basically just time. Okay, so it's uh, it, it's just a full, you know, full quantum mechanics. Uh, uh, so so here the uh, the delta m square here delta m square two three uh, means the uh, uh, m3 square minus m2 square, okay, it's the mass square differences. So, so the, uh, so the uh, uh, oscillation and mixing basically uh, sensitive to the, uh, the mass square differences, uh, but not the mass itself. So, uh, uh, so you can see this unitary matrix, uh, basically you can break up into a three mixing angle, theta 2, 3, theta 1, 3, theta 1, 2, um, uh, these two actually, you can see, theta two three is almost maximum, you know, uh, forty five degree, and theta one one two is also quite large, and uh, also the the mass square difference, uh, you, we also can see the uh, you know there are two scales, ten to minus three and ten to, ten to minus five level, and uh, uh, of course the uh, these uh, uh, my one face it doesn't show up you know, in the uh, oscillation. So we're not sensitive to this. Uh, so so the uh, basically uh, 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 new E is fractions. What What is the new E fraction of the new three, the, the third generation? And also the, uh, we try to get this uh, uh, intern matrix element. Okay, so, uh, so to measure the mixing angle, of course, the, uh, that's uh, the purpose of uh, Diabe. But uh, in the past, even though we had actually spent you know quite a bit of effort, 
uh, the last two decades, you can see uh, there are still many, uh, many uh, uh, questions not answered. Uh, one, for example, the, uh, the mass hierarchy, and uh, but even just by knowing the uh, delta m squared, uh, still we don't know. You know, it's no more inverted mass hierarchies. Uh, roughly, we know what kind of the splitting scales. So, so these actually uh, uh, remain to be, you know, uh, measured. And this is the my the so the Juno experiment, and we would like to actually uh, to uh, to really probe this. Uh, uh, once we have, you know, the uh, uh, the other measurements, all the other measurements, you basically can see, you know, we still have many other uh, unknowns. For example, the uh, uh, CP violation, the CPTs, and uh, and this thing, the neutrinos, its own antiparticle marijuana, and also is there any external neutrinos, etc. Okay, so uh, that the experiment. This was designed to make uh, basically a precision benchmark theta one three mixing angle, partly because uh, uh, and at uh, around two thousand three, uh, around time which started the you know discussions, uh, the theta one three was not known. And, uh, and uh, to design experiment, we don't know how big at time, but we actually can predict, you know, uh, reliably. So we would like to, to measure as you know, accurate as possible to, uh, 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 that's the, the goal at that time, even though we just set a limit, you know. So, so what do we care, of course, I already mentioned, okay, uh, by knowing the, the last missing angle, last piece, we actually can start probing other things in the uh, lepton sector. And this is the, before 2011, you can see this science squared 2013 is still less than 0.15. Okay. All right, the, uh, how to measure it? To the principle, basically, uh, uh, we need a, a, a short distance around the one to roughly 1.5 kilometer distance from the reactor core. Then uh, uh, to do a good measurement, basically, we need a near detector and far detector. So the near detector can measure the spectrum uh, and, uh, and also the uh, so-called the, uh, the yield uh, very close to the reactor. And the other one uh, was how to see the oscillation effect. So basically compare so-called near and far and, uh, and uh, for the reactor at so, such short distance, basically uh, this is a pretty good you know, approximation already. So we're directly sensitive to uh, the amplitude sine square two theta one three. So, so the key, of course, uh, in the design, uh, we have to optimize, try to optimize the uh, baselines, and uh, depends on the, the site. You, you can see later, and uh, we need high statics. So, uh, so that means the uh, uh, the detector should be you know uh, some uh, good size. Uh, then we need to reduce the systematics, which we can do this uh, so-called the uh, far and near ratios, and can cancel quite a bit, you know, the, uh, the uh, some of the uh, systematics. And we'll need also to reduce the background. That means the, uh, we need the uh, shield, water shield, and vetoes to uh, reduce the, uh, the customary you know, uh, uh, effect event. So anyway, the uh, LMA collaboration, you know, started around 2006. And uh, and we have right now, I think we have about over 200 collaborators with many institutions from China, from the uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and also the U.S. and uh, even the, uh, Chile and also the Europe. You can see. Uh, so uh, Taiwan, we have actually have three institutions: National Chao University, National uh, Taiwan University, and also National United Universities. So. Uh, the location of uh, Da Bay. You know, uh, we chose the site. Uh, uh, I think uh, partly because uh, uh, it, it's it's actually not too far away from Hong Kong. It has some convenience, and the uh, reactor is in operation at the time. And uh, there are three reactor uh, complex: uh, Da Bay, Ling Ao One, Ling Ao Two. You can see, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's the top five most powerful reactor complex in the world, and the six core produce about you know 17.4 gigawatt thermal power, and also you can see first found about 35 times 10 to 20 in the uh, 
antineutrinos per second can be produced. So, so this is the, uh, the three reactor, and uh, the, there's a mountain nearby. This mountain, uh, the Grand Mountain, is pretty good shielding, and uh, we uh, actually uh, uh, got agreement with the uh, uh, power company. We can actually dig a tunnel in this uh, this entrance. <coughs> So this is the layout of the experiment. You can see uh, once we uh, come in from the entrance, so then we actually have uh, two near hole because of the way the reactor uh, layout here and one far hole over here. And we decide to have uh, 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 at least you know a pair of the uh, detectors, uh, identical detectors in the two of the near holes and uh, four actually in the far hole, just try to get the enough sticks. And uh, so, th so basically, there's eight identical detectors. Uh, and uh, operation, uh, uh, you know, we start from 2006 actually until about 2011. And 2011, uh, basically, we spend quite a bit of time to uh, construct the site and also build the detectors. And uh, uh, this is a, a early run. You can see uh, from 2011. Uh, end of December to the uh, to 2012 uh, um, July, we have six you know anti uh, six detectors uh, running taking data, and uh, later actually we put in another two. Um, so basically, uh, we look for evidence of disappearance of of, of, of between the near and far. So so the anti neutrino uh, detection. Uh, this is probably the only way uh, in many experiments to use this almost this, exactly the same, you know, the uh, reactions is the uh, inverse field case uh, reaction. The uh, antitrino electron type antitrino, uh, uh, when, you, when you hit the, uh, our target uh, in the detectors like products, will produce positron and neutron. And the positron will produce, the, uh, will annihilate right away to produce so called the uh, 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 prompt signals, then the neutron will scatter, and we can use uh, uh, the, the, this scattered neutron to produce so called delay signal as the coincidence, delay coincidence. And you can see the uh, neutron uh, uh, absorbed by the uh, proton would produce uh, deuteron plus uh, 2.2 mEV gamma rays. We also add in 0.1% uh, gadolonia in the our target volume, and uh, that. That gives us a much bigger cross section. You can see the gadolinium will produce the uh, uh, eight, rough A and maybe the gamma rays. So, so the these are the uh, 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 so-called delay time. Okay, uh, difference you can see. Um, so, detector basically is a three concentric, you know, uh, volume, and uh, the innermost is the uh, so-called gadolinium. Uh, loaded liquid cinder is about 20 tons, okay, and so inside the three meter, you know, cylinder, three meter uh, in diameter, three meter tall, then and then uh, put into the four meter, which is the outer uh, acrylics, also another 20 tons, just a liquid cinder we call the uh, gamma catcher, then then the outside we put everything in the uh, so-called mineral oil of a five meter semi steel with the uh, 192, uh, I think each 192 inch uh, PMD tubes in each detector, okay, it's around. And also we have reflectors, top and bottom, and uh, calibration systems in a several port uh, to do the measurement. So the energy resolution roughly, we, you know, in the design world, you know, we should be able to reach about, you know, 7.5% over Ru okay. So the three concentric, you know, volume is like a Russian doll. And uh, has of course uh, uh, technical quite a technical challenge. This is uh, before we actually fill the cylinder. You can see uh, uh, three three volumes. This is the most inner ones. This is the three meter, four meter, and uh, this is the five meter, and with the uh, eight inch photo tubes. And uh, all the three meter the the acrylic in most inner ones. You can see uh, as only the center. There's only two ports actually uh, connecting outside, and if sealed, and uh, so the three meter in, in, 
in their aquatic vessels produced in, uh, in Taiwan. And uh, the, the wall is pretty thin. So it's only one centimeter thick wall. And the top of bottom only 1.5 centimeter. Okay. So you can see there's a uh, reinforced uh, we call ribs structures. Okay. Yeah. So the so then we put all those IEDs in the uh, water, and we actually use water sharing cough to detect to do the vetoes. Uh, any customer may go through. Actually, we still can detect those and veto them. And uh, this is the uh, far hole. You can see the four detectors installed with a uh, half filled uh, water. And uh, so, so uh, we, you know, s since the uh, 2011, end of 2011, we actually collect, you know, uh, data uh, most of the time, except, you know, we installed the, the other two. There's a break here. And uh, you can see the, these are the uh, uh, IBD rates. This is per day, per ADs. And this is the two near hole and one far hole. You can see. Okay, and basically you can get the uh, the rates. For example, this is about you know seven or eight hundred you know events per day, and uh, for the near hole, the uh, far hole is only about ninety. Uh, and then there's a pretty big structure here. It's because the reactors turn on and off, and then they shut down a different period for the maintenance. We actually can see it. Okay, and uh, uh, so this is a correspond about. Uh, first 620 days uh, data, and uh, to measure the uh, uh, the figure one three, actually we can use the so-called the rate, the, just the, uh, the the rate, or we use the spectrum. Of course, spectrum we have to understand the uh, when we collect the so-called the uh, positron energy, the prime energy, but uh, which is almost uh, sim very similar to the, uh, the so-called neutrino energy. So we can get the spectrum. Of course. There's it's from almost one to ten MeV region, and uh, the detector so-called linearity becomes uh, uh, an issue. We actually have to understand that. But anyway, in the far hole and, and near, near site, you can see the, uh, uh, the the spectrum comparison. I will show you the data, and also the total rate differences. And the mass splitting. Uh, which mass splitting do we measure? Defined as uh, effective mass splitting delta m e e squared. It's because the uh, the besides the first term, actually there's a second term, and uh, this even though this second term, is, you know, uh, we know, you know, it's not that important, but still, uh, there's a you know the mass squared differences uh, comes in, and we actually need to define when you express the full you know expressions, and delta m e e squared. Basically, uh, it's almost uh, similar to the delta m three two squared, and uh, 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 with the uh, the plus minus of the so-called normal or inverse, inverted hierarchy. Uh, however, this is a very small uh, difference, so generally we're not sensitive to this. Uh, so basically, uh, you can see the uh, the the, the past energy will will be like this. And uh, this is the one. This is a you know point nine. Uh, uh, yeah. So, so the uh, energy calibration, uh, of course, becomes uh, 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 very important. We have weekly energy calibration uh, through uh, different uh, so-called automatic you know uh, calibration units with different sources like Cobol 60, Germanium 60A, americium and carbon. And we also can use the uh, so-called muon-induced, so-called spallation uh, neutrons, and, uh, and a few other in situ type, you know, the backgrounds. And uh, these are the, uh, uh, you can see from the, uh, 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 between the, uh, like a half MeV all the way to about an A MeV region. So this is the spallation neutron uh, capture. You can see the, there, there's a, a hydrogen capture and also got a neutron capture, this A and MeV. 2.2, oh, very clear. And so, so to understand, we use those uh, uh, television source and a various different source actually uh, map out our the uh, so-called the uh, nonlinearity response. Uh, this nonlinear response actually uh, varies. You can see from low energy to high energy. 
and uh, but we think we understand this uh, to better one percent now. Uh, this is the uncertainty of the band. We think uh, uh, we should attribute as this is matters. And also check with the so-called foreign tail uh, spectrum in situ. Okay. Um, so, so to compare the far near far ratio, this is the red only. Red only is already very clear. Uh, even the near side, uh, we originally we thought we only, we should measure one. Okay, but uh, with the uh, uh, the size of the electric, the one three, and it's already you know dip a little bit. And uh, then the far side, of it definitely is come down here. So this is the the rate only, you know, after our fit and between the uh, uh, those detectors and the near far side. Also, you can compare the uh, so-called this is the far side data spectrum uh, with compared with the near side uh, without oscillation. Okay, and uh, this, and this overlay with the best fit of the results, you can see. Is the ratio is like this. Okay, so the observed relative rate deficit and the relative spectrum distortion are highly consistent with the uh, oscillation interpretation. So, so we have published actually uh, uh, since first discovery in 2012 in April, and uh, uh, I think that's, that's only 55 days. Um, and also, uh, uh, we have updated several times. Uh, this is the one result actually in 2015. I'll show you the uh, 2017 uh, uh, on the theta 1 3. You can see the number is uh, 0 0.084 plus minus 0 0.05. So we're already, you know, uh, uh, it's quite small. Systematic, uh, the, uh, the errors already, uh, the combined is systematic and uh, statistics. And uh, this is the measurement of delta ME squared. Which is about 2.44 times 10 to the 3 okay, e squared. And uh, with pretty good, you know, the uh, uh, fit, high school fit degree freedom, you can see uh, between these two variables. And uh, the measurement basically also consistent with the other, for example, the mu neutrino disappearance experiment. And uh, but by comparison, you can see, you know, here. So this is already, you know, probably mo were most precise measurement on science particular. Uh, uh, Science for uh, two theta one three. Okay. Also, it's probably the most precise measure of delta m e squared. Uh, so, uh, this is the the latest uh, publication on the physics review D uh, in this year. I think uh, this is correspond to uh, a more than twelve hundred days already. And uh, you can see it, the number hasn't changed much, the central value, and the error actually uh, in reduced. Uh, so, so the uh, this com can be compared with the, all the other measurements so far with the Reynolds double shows. Okay, so far you know things all seems to be uh, quite good. And uh, uh, the the besides the so-called the uh, we call NGD data. Uh, there's also the NH, okay, the NH uh, data, which can be uh, independent check, even though the statistics won't be, you know, as good as NGDs. Uh, you can clearly see, you know, the peaks over here. Uh, of course, uh, NGDs are well separate, and there's still a little bit background here, more background here. Anyway, the uh, this shows up, you know, the, the data we have, okay, all the candidates and with the accidental background, and then we have to subtract out and get to this. So, so the uh, NH result actually is fully consistent. You can see fully consistent with the uh, NGD result. Now, uh, besides the uh, oscillation uh, uh, on the, uh, the theta one three. The missing angle. Uh, we also can probe so-called the third. You know, if there's a force, you know, generation, and uh, this actually uh, uh, we can use a similar method using the uh, so-called the, uh, 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 the spectrum and the, and the rate. So basically, the high statistics. Basically, you can do the search, assuming the force generation trainer will mix with the uh, uh, with the others. So, so you can see then we can actually 
sometimes the uh, sensitivity and uh, basically uh, uh, we illustrate you know the so-called L over E uh, here. Then, then the then this is the, the formula with the uh, the fourth theta one four. Okay, mixing over here. Then we can use this to just use the fit to do the search. So the search basically we found nothing. So so we got a, a contour over here, and uh, this contour actually uh, uh, some of actually is, is from other experiments. I think with the uh, our sensitivities, you can see on delta m four one squared is, is down to about ten minus four e squared. <coughs> and uh, this shows up some illustration if okay. Uh, uh, if the delta m uh, for one square is, is like, uh, uh, say, 4 times 10 minus 2 ev squared, then actually you can see. And uh, of course, smaller than 10 minus 3, then it's much harder. So anyway, our result also published. And uh, you can see, uh, basically, this is the region we were on. This is based on the earlier data. Uh, then. We use the latest data combined with the uh, adrenaminos and also with the uh, uh, bogey, okay, three, and uh, uh, we actually can get a much bigger uh, contour carved out. So the red trans uh, spectrum, uh, we also have fun with the high statistics. There's a, uh, I probably have to skip also. And we do find there's a some, you know, uh, discrepancy with the uh, predict the uh, so-called the uh, model, the, like a Humber Miller model, and uh, even with the uh, there are two different models, they are not, you know, even though slight inconsistency, but our data still shows up there's a uh, just about percent uh, level here, and uh, there's a, looks like there's a. a Axis, and uh, but if you look at spectrum, it's very hard to see. Okay, is there any bump or not? Okay, not from here. So so uh, between four and six MeV, there seems to be a four sigma differences. This uh, not only us. Okay, the uh, other experiment and uh, has also seen, for example, the uh, Re Reno experiment and double shows all have seen you know similar you know, the behavior at the same location. So the question is: This a, a new particle, or this is some, you know, you know, behavior we just don't understand in the uh, in the model? And uh, we have done quite a check actually uh, on this. But basically, many of the uh, uh, say unexpected backgrounds or from the uh, energy uh, spectrums, put on energy scales, these basically cannot explain this. And also, can I explain by a single branch of uh, so-called beta or mono energetic lines? And uh, it, it, it's broader, okay. It's, so, so basically, uh, it looks like uh, uh, when you actually go into detail to, to look at the, uh, what's in those models, and uh, uh, for example, Uber Miller models, and basically, uh, they, they try to use up initial the method to, to predict spectrum, but Still, there are many unknowns. There are thousand spectrums, there are thousand branches in the uh, directory of the uh, uh, neutrino spectrums. So there are some of them still okay, not known very well. So for example, we have found you know some of them actually probably only known to a uh, fifty percent level, and uh, and uh, if the endpoint is very close to uh, say five MeV region, and that can cause the discrepancy. So so far, I think that's our. Uh, the current understanding. Okay, and besides, besides the uh, uh, we've seen the uh, so-called the anomaly, and uh, with the, this data set, actually, with, I think with what we can do is try to extract a generic in direct and neutrino spectrum. I think this will be very useful in the future uh, when people try to do modeling. Those things can really compare. Okay, uh, the spectrum. Because the spectrum uh, you can see, you know, we have. Uh, better than one percent accuracy. 
So I will go to the uh, the German the new uh, uh, experiment. The, the German uh, underground and neutrino observatory will be uh, uh, much bigger than the, the database uh, detectors. Uh, will be just used the liquid and it's a uh, multi kilotons. And uh, this is the uh, uh, the view of uh, basically the civil construction. Uh, maybe about a year ago, okay? And uh, we would like to start data taking sometime, you know, up to 2020, and uh, maybe it's about six years to, uh, to, to really address the mass hierarchy up to three or four sigma level. So basically, uh, to measure the mass hierarchy, uh, we actually need a place detector about 50 kilometers from two different reactor sites, about equal distance and try to use so-called the uh, interference uh, uh, here because you can see the uh, non-oscillation on the, basically the, just the theta 1, one 2 FP you can carve out huge amounts, okay? But the theta 1, 3 basically building on top of it. So, so these, are, these are the small oscillation, that's the pattern we would like to, uh, to really address in the, uh, the mass hierarchy. So, so the full, you know, the expression, of course, you, know, you can see it's more complicated, and uh, they're, you know, using the, uh, for example, Fourier transform method to really uh, uh, attack this problem. And uh, uh, the sensitivity, uh, basically, uh, 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 to have a good sensitivity, I mean, so we did quite a bit of study, and has several requirements, uh, which is very challenging, uh, much challenging, uh, more challenging than the uh, RNA. Uh, we have to place the uh, detector 700 meters in the ground, E, okay? So let me the new site. And uh, we need uh, roughly 36 gigawatt reactor powers, and uh, so somewhat twice of the RNA, and uh, 53 kilometer uh, baseline, and, uh, and uh, we need a 20 kilotons of liquid center detector. And the, the, one of the very challenging requirement is the 3% energy resolution at 1 MV. Remember, we have is only 7.5%, okay? And uh, we have to do much better and with much bigger detection. So these are the, some studies from the, our design report. Then the location, you can see, uh, uh, originally we called RV2 because uh, we think maybe you know, using RV reactors with the uh, Guizhou and the blue phone and uh, put over here, but this was not uh, a good site also, it was not actually available. Besides these two, I think they're not really in operation. Um, but then we found a new site, it's over here. So this is Hong Kong, so one on this side, the other one, you know, Juno's on this side. So there are two reactors called uh, Kai Sai and Yang Jiang, and both reactor and the, and the Juno de detector can be placed you know, roughly you know, 53 kilometers and the near so-called Kaiping, uh, Jiangmen city so that's what we call Jiangmen, we call Juno and uh, uh, you can see the, uh, the, these, these two actually, each one has about you know, 18 uh, gigawatt thermal power so the mass hierarchy is so we we think you know, uh, we can get uh, uh, if we reach the uh, three percent uh, yeah, energy resolution, and, uh, and we can get about four sigma sensitivities, and uh, so this has you know quite a bit constraint on the requirement number of PMT coverage almost entirely you know, has to be covered. Seventy five percent, we need high quantity efficiencies. We need the uh, very long you know so called the uh, attenuation length at the uh, 20, 30 uh, nanometers. So we spent the past about two years to, to do the uh, detector, various detector uh, design R&Ds. And uh, so this is the, the current design. You can see the steel structures outside, which we can mount the photo tubes. And uh, the inside will have a sphere. It's, uh, it's uh, just a credit sphere, but it's very large. You can, so uh, the size, this is a 43.5 meters, and this is a 44 meter deep, okay? And this is already 700 meters you know, below the ground. So, so that gives us uh, roughly uh, 20 kiloton liquid centimeter, and uh, we need about you know, uh, 18,000 20 inch PMTs 
plus, you know, uh, we can put in between those 20 inch PMPs the uh, roughly uh, 36,000 uh, 3 inch small PMPs, we call double you know, dynamometry to help to improve the measurement. And everything will be immersed in the, in the water, it's a water stream of shielding. So this is the PMD coverage, you can see very dense, okay? And uh, uh, the, the goal is try to get about, you know, 1,200 uh, photo electrons per meters. Okay, so so this is 20 inch uh, PMD, actually we will be duct fitted for both and uh, we will buy, I think, uh, two thirds of the uh, NNVTs and one third of Hamamatsu. The requirement is similar, but not quite identical. Each of the tubes they make. Then the, the three inch we decided actually only uh, uh, about about a year ago, and, uh, and and you can see we placed them in between the, the twenty inches. And uh, uh, that time we had to have three possible vendors, but now we only fixed with the HCC, okay, in high net. and. Uh, they can actually produce a three inch PMTs uh, quite well. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, so as so I will you know, give the summary, the dive has a very rich and trim physics program already, and then we did the precision measurement of oscillation parameters. We did search for the uh, serum internal mixings. We also have high speed measurement of flux and spectral shape of red anti neutrinos, and we actually have a few others. Uh, some of them may not be related to the uh, uh, red neutrino actually. When you this, you know, some sort of you know, the, uh, the cosmic muons look for their uh, uh, seasonal you know, differences. Uh, then with, with the data actually, uh, we started you know, basically end of 2011 until now, we probably will run a few more years and uh, just before the June start and uh, so we'll collect you know, a few more years data and uh, we expect to have more updates and uh, basically uh, we'll reach you know, quite good sensitivity and uh, hopefully okay, we'll probably accept you know, other new results too. Um, the sensitivity this is show, uh, this is old already, it's not now, you know, we're already updated them up here. So the gain actually you can see for the size per 2.13 is, is minimal, okay? But we still have some sensitivity uh, gain on the uh, WMD per I think. Uh, so, so this is the, uh, just shows, uh, you know, the, uh, the, at the end, how much we can you know, expect. All right, uh, for the Juno, uh, uh, this is a new experiment, and probably by 2026, uh, we would expect to, uh, to have measurement on the uh, mass hierarchies at the 3 to 4 sigma level. And uh, the oscillation, the parameter to better than 1% level, there are several oscillating parameters, and uh, including like the one, two level things. And also, we can have, you know, sensitivity, for example, to the supernova neutrino search, maybe, you know, the, like geo neutrino or solar neutrino type. And that's with such large spectrum, we have to see. And uh, maybe there are others, uh, especially certain, certain neutrinos. And uh, this, this is the schedule you can see. You know, we have done it, quite a bit of preparation, and the civil construct already started and uh, hopefully finished by next year. Uh, the detector component, with already have with some delays. The, uh, the detector component production was basically as uh, this is a uh, actually only start from uh, uh, this year and uh, last year and uh, assembly of these will basically will be uh, in 2019. So these are the roughly the scale. Okay, thank you. Because we go out with time, just one quick question. Uh, in for the search of the sterile neutrino, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't clear to me that it was the latest data result completely um, pulled out the, the previous report did the show the baseline anomaly. Uh, the, uh, it ruled out the, uh, the uh, 
minnows, um, the, uh, mini booms, and the RSNDs, their favorite uh, region. Right? That's true. Uh, but for the reactor, short pass, I am the not high skill in that world. Uh, probably not, yeah. Let's speak you again.